What up, y'all? TBS here again, and I want to check out some more of this book. I really do. I just, I, I don't want to totally ruin it and, for everybody, but at the same time, let's just, I don't know, let's just take a little bit more in-depth look. Um, we could just at least take a gander, I guess it's some of the first pages of some of the first, uh, some of the chapters, and uh, instead of just, like, totally ruining it, but uh, just I'm just super curious about this book, just to check it out, just to... Um, just to give it more of a gander. Oop. This is figure attributes. This is pretty cool. It's pretty interesting. Early production notes on various figure attributes for the toy line. Opposite this image comes with the card back with the original 1982 He Man figure. Well, the original release in 1982 featured the famous 8-back watercolors of the first eight figures. Later re-releases included original card art along with the single descriptive sentence for the classic line of MattyCollector.com. Many of the figures use this vintage art on backing cards and bio with the single sentence as the final line in the bio. Interesting. Very cool. Very, very cool. Oh, I love this book. This book is so awesome. This book is so, so awesome. So ridiculously cool. Check out page 71. Man, there's so much. It's just, oh wow, this just is. This book is just chock full of amazing stuff. This really is. I'm absolutely like going ape over this. But at the same time, I really want to take, like, take my time, like, going through it and just checking it out. And not just, like, blasting through the whole book in one evening. Because it really is, it just seems like a surprise around, like, every corner of the book. And, uh, yeah, this looks interesting. I don't know what page this is or chapter this is, but, uh, this looks like some of the box art, which is really killer. Man, used to have the fright zone. This was a killer place that, especially with the snake, uh, snake gag, or the big dragon monster beast or whatever that could come out. It was like a glove. Thing was cool. The spider, ore. laser bolt, Bashosaurus. This book is heavy too. I'm like actually struggling to hold this book, but yeah, it's, it's ridiculous. Oop. Alright, let's see. James Wow, th some of these names are pretty familiar too. That name is really familiar, James Educk. Ah, that's not the guy that does the He-Man YouTube thing, is it? Might be, I think so. Let's see, let's check out 87. Find 87. There's so many pages of awesomeness in this. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Here we go. Filmation Adventures. And there's some of the, I guess this was the end of the one chapter with the mini comics and stuff. Chapter 4 Filmation Adventures. 1983. Sorry about the glare. That's rad. That is awesome. Well, this book is killer. This book is just too, too, way too, it's way too, oop, it's way too awesome. Let's see. 123. Check out 123. Oh, did I just miss that? I guess so. I guess we skipped past that. Oh, here we go. Okay, comics and magazines and more. Here's some of the filmation. I guess these are like, um... I 
forget what you call these. Just like I guess like layouts for the characters of all the colors and like little notes or whatever and stuff. I forget what these are called. Or just, they're not sides, are they? I know Ivan would know because he was just talking about uh, stuff like this in one of his videos on uh, one of his DC uh, animated Batman figure reviews. But anyhow, um, that's pretty cool. That's awesome. This is just, this book is just insanely awesome. For any if you, if you're a Motu fan, this is just this is just this is like awesome. This would make a good gift for anybody who's in the Motu. Just like oh, 175. Wow, that's gonna be a killer chapter. Let's see if I can find it and get to it. Cause I'm trying not to spoil this book for myself either. Cause I want to take my time really getting into it. I really do. Oh wow! And here's yeah, chapter six, 1987, the motion picture. That's killer. That is killer. Skeletor, Gildor, and his weird um, job of the hut thing, looking skiff thing that they rode around on in the movie. Here's the uh, powers of Gray Skull. Five knitting patterns featuring Shira and He-Man. It's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That is pretty insane. Let's see what else do we have. Uh, New Adventures 203. Let me see. Yeah, there's some killer surprises in this book. There really is. There really, really is. Okay, here we are. We're almost there. Trying. Okay, well. And here's some more stuff from the, that last chapter of the motion picture. That's pretty cool art. Concept art. Very cool. Reminds me of Macquarie stuff, kind of. I mean, it's not his art, but, you know, kind of just reminds me of that stuff. Um, in Chapter 7, 1990, The New Adventures. It's funny, because I just didn't dig New Adventures until, like, a few years ago. And as a kid, I just totally hated it, because I was like, this is a goofy reboot that I'm just not digging. Okay, Chapter 8, Collection Reborn. It's 219. Jeez, this is really so much stuff in this book it's insane all right we're almost there yep the collection reborn that's a 2000 X e man and that's, that's the end of uh, battle for the crystal well, I guess it's look at a mini comic from uh, new adventures that's pretty cool but yeah that's just sick that's just sick. This covers all bases pretty much. This book, this is just, this is just killer. This is like I've, don, I've died and gone to um, He Man Heaven. Let's see, the collection revisited. Now this is gonna be cool because I know this is gonna be all the classic stuff. I can find it. Oh, here we are. We're getting close. Getting close. Ah, uh, here we go. The Collection Revisited, Chapter 9. And that's like, I guess, looks at the... That's a box art for the Wind Raider? Maybe for the Maddie Collector Wind Raider? I never bought it, so I guess that would... That would be it. That's all I'm thinking. Oh, cool. Some more art. Looks pretty cool. Looks like fan art. Wow, this book is just sick. Sick, 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 sick. And then Evolution of the Universe Chapter 10 289. Dang, this is just this is insane. And and it's uh This is just insane. Here we go. Bear with me. Chapter 10, Evolution of the Unit of the Universe. That's cool. That's pretty cool. 
No, what's this at the end? Oh, this looks like comics. Yeah. From the comics. Secret Origin Skeletor. Yeah, this is this is just a killer book, and um, I really want to recommend getting it. It's it's about forty three bucks, I believe, with that. With uh, I think it was like thirty nine, maybe with tax forty three or something like that that I paid. But um, yeah, it's worth it. And there's some surprises in here that I don't want to tell you about, like some really cool stuff. I'm sure you can find out on other channels or, or stuff, you know, or maybe they have a copy of this book not sealed at your local comic shop or something, you know. But um. This uh, picture in the back is really killer. I dig it. It has most of my favorite bad guys except for Triclops and Trapjaw and many others. But you at least got Webstore and Beastman hanging out in the back. Evil Lynn looking pretty sexy in front of Skeletor. Panther right behind her. That's, that's funny. It'd be a cool uh, velvet painting or something. But uh, yeah, this is a great book. And I really, if you're a He-Man fan, I urge you to buy it. Because it's just, it's just too killer. It's just really, really worth it. And we haven't, I haven't even gone through the whole thing yet. I'm going to, like I said, I think I might even wait till I have a, like a really good day off of work just to sit down and enjoy it. And just really, I want to just really take my time with this book. And I don't think I've ever owned any other coffee table books or books where I've wanted to just really take my time and soak it in and enjoy it. And I just wanted to share this with you guys. And uh, yeah, if you can get it. And I'm sure it's going to be around for a while because it's put out by Dark Horse. I'm sure they made tons of copies of it. So I'm sure it's not going to like sell out or anything like that. But um, but yeah, it's awesome. It's awesome if you love He-Man. Alright guys, well thanks for uh, tuning in and stuff. And I always appreciate it. And um, yeah, I'll catch up with y'all soon. Alright, peace.